you go. You know what? Sometimes I feel like in this life, all of us could be whatever we want to be, you know? But we're so limited with time. And I don't mean limited as in time is too short. I mean limited in the way that we always assume like we never have enough time. Or it's like we are racing against someone or something. And maybe the best way to live life is just to live as if today is your last day. Like, if this was your last hour, your last minute, what would you want to do with it? Like, the things you think about doing, you do them. The things you're afraid of doing, you still do them anyways. And not allowing people into your mind. Not allowing people to touch your spirit. Because I know people can, you know, it's normal for people to touch parts of you like, um, what do, you know, like a scratch on your spirit and you feel it then, you know, we shouldn't allow those moments to define our entire life. Like, we all have one life. We get to live one life. And we get to live it the way we want, either surrounded, drown, you know, either surround, not surrounded, either drowning in fear or doing whatever we want to do. And I know sometimes it's taken negatively doing what you want to do, but if you really look at life, how people are living, the pain people are going through, the people who are doing so great in terms of money. But in terms of peace, in terms of joy, they have nothing, you know. They don't live a fulfilled life. They don't feel happy despite the material things that people assume is happiness. And I know it can be a lot. It, it takes a lot of courage to do, like to live life as if it's your last day. Because you can, you know, if you expect life to be, you know, aligned simply because you're doing what, you're what you feel you're supposed to do, people expect it to be like smooth sailing, there's no, um, you know, internal war, sometimes there's physical war, and I'm, by physical I mean like material stuff, but I feel like if your life was to end today, will those material stuff matter? You know, we worry so much about it, it cripples us. It cripples us from thinking beyond, you know, our surrounding, our environment, our limitations. We're supposed to live freely. We're supposed to be like, um, you know, just breathing what was put in us to, you know, breathe into this life. Because all of us, we were born for a reason. All of us who are born with you know, a certain, uh, you know, creativity. But this life is, lim like, this life is deprived of so much because we always assume, like, we are supposed to live like everyone else. We are supposed to confine ourselves. We see it as, a, as such a normal thing that um, we don't challenge it. We never challenge it, which is so bad. It's, you know, me personally, I just don't want to live my life like that. Despite how hard it might be, I just want to live my life freely. I want to do the things that I love doing. And I want to be happy about the things I'm doing. I want to make a difference, whether that difference is accepted or not. That's how I want to live life, you know. Love everyone, you know. The people that I feel it's like more um, difficult to love, challenge myself to love them. Um, 
heal the ones who are broken, you know. It's, I just don't want to be limited, you know. So you hear what I'm saying, like, let's just live life. Let's not allow things to deprive us of God-given gifts. Like, if you wake up and you feel like creating, you just create. And by the way, me saying that people should, like, follow their dreams because people separate dreams from success and by success I mean the society's definition of success you could succeed in anything I just think if you believe in what you're doing in completely you feel it like in your spirit this is the thing for you nothing can stop you it might seem like it is right now but nothing can stop you, like, really. You're born for this. And what does it matter if you spend your entire life doing, like, things that please everyone, you know, that put you on a pedestal in society, but, you know, when you go to lie down every night that you're just living a surface life, you know? We're supposed to live more. We're supposed to do more. And it... I don't know who gave us this distorted idea of... We just seem to be adopting to this distorted way of life, like... Following a pattern. We are okay with following patterns. We're okay with judging people for... Um, defying those patterns instead of clapping for them. I think people who defy patterns to follow their dreams, to follow their purpose, to follow what they truly believe in, I have so much respect for those people because it's not easy. And you know, people always expect that whatever you choose, you automatically get it from the first time. But wouldn't you rather be wrong trying to find your path than be right in you know, the wrong um, kinds of, what do I call it? Like, you're succeeding in the wrong stuff, but you're not succeeding in the right ones. So what's the point? Like, what do you live for? Like, what's your passion? Take that. That's what you're supposed to live for. Like, when you get out of this world, like, at the end of your life, it's, you know, when you get to the end of your life, it's not about, you know, people will read your, what's that thing? You know, your achievements, but to you, you know, between you and God, what's really the achievement? If you haven't been living your life doing what you feel you've been called to do, are you really achieving anything? You're just, yeah, we have a friend. So yeah, the guy is living his life, so, you know, wanted to sing, he was singing, maybe you should try that sometime, you know, if you love singing, just wake up, sing, and you could be, for the people who feel like they don't have, like, because they don't have anything, like, let's say people who are uh, unemployed right now. Instead of looking at it like you're in a bad place, why don't you find like this time to explore like the things you were born for? Like you have nothing to lose. You have no money to lose, basically, because that's what everyone looks at as if it's the, it's the life or death situation, you know? So like if you're unemployed, if you're unemployed right now, is your time to like explore, explore the things you, you're capable of doing, you know, like your passions, what gives you the oomph to do what, whatever you want to do. And the people who are employed, um, look, take it as an advantage, like, 
you're in a position where you can finance your dreams you know you don't have to start with pennies you know so it's basically like living your passion while you you enhancing how do I call I don't want to use okay like you're financing your passion you know it gives you that advantage so everyone has an advantage of doing living out their passions you know and um instead of giving excuses 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 do you say excuses or the whatever so you know let's live life let's take advantage of our blessings of situations where we think we have nothing and use it you know use it don't listen to naysayers don't listen to people say you can't do it because it's not you who can't do it they couldn't do it so they make it seem like you can't do it you know which isn't right so it might be impossible for them but it's possible for you so that's what you're supposed to focus on everything right now in this moment moving forward everything is possible for you i'm saying everything is possible for you you might not have a penny to support um your passions but you have to start somewhere you can't allow your passions to be defined by the material you need to take whatever you have small or great and pursue it and put your heart and soul into it you know there's this uh, quote of you know i read i remember a long time ago it says find something you love and let it kill you i don't think the thing you find that you love will kill you but i think it's worth dying for that's what you're supposed to look for the thing that you call the die for and i mean dying doesn't necessarily have to be like you losing your life um, i mean like dying is like you're sick you know you could be in a position where you're sick but it's the thing that um you still want to do okay i need to take dying doesn't necessarily mean you losing your life but sometimes dying is the thing that um is so powerful that it's so powerful in you that whether you see whether your resources are limited whether people speak negative about it you like it's like it's just a drive it's like a kickstarter when people speak you know law about your choices or you yourself it's just you know Has there ever been like in a situation where someone says a negative thing then you you know you could share that you are true and you move from that place and the thing that drives you just pushes you it's like an oomph it's like now the sadness has touched up uh, it's like the sadness is like an activator of um your drive like if it was at level 20 when someone says something negative instead of it going to level 10 it goes to level 100 that's the thing i'm speaking about like the thing that drives you no one can break you because of it no one can limit you because of it you just do you wake up and you just do what you need to do what you're called to do what you're born to do that's the thing you're supposed to rise up every day and do you know don't live like in a cycle of doing the same thing generation after generation you change nothing in this life you don't even change yourself you don't change your surroundings or the people around you and you know there are people who you know like in this situation like you could change people by material i'm not saying material is wrong i'm a, i'm a deep believer that if you have material you have the power that's like an a power also to do to help people with material you could help people who are hungry could help people who are lacking you could 
you know what's it called pour into people who have passions you know and purposes that need a push you know you could be a push to them but i'm saying if you're like that should shouldn't be the dependency of you doing what you're supposed to do you're supposed to do it rise up and do it if it's if it's been poured into you it means god has given every one of us the power to do it everyone the power to do it and this is all round meaning you've been given the power to um okay i just saw a plane mantis here i don't like those things and it's a new one <sighs> okay so well, what was i saying like share subscribe